This is the picturesque village of Roth unter Riedburg in southwest Germany. Arguably, its most famous inhabitants are by some margin its oldest, grapevines that date back over 400 years. The grapes are ripe and the pickers are busy. This particular vineyard is said by some to be one of the oldest in the world. Stefan Oberhofer invests a lot of time in the vineyard, in an endless cycle of weeding, pruning and cutting. It's all to ensure that the 80 centimeter tall vines survive just a few more years. It's difficult getting any kind of yield at all. Look at this little one. It's always exciting in the old vineyard. It's over 400 years old. Some of today's vineyards only last 20 or 25 years. And the fact that it's still standing is a minor miracle. The 300 Tramina vines have been under a preservation order since 1968 and are believed to have been originally planted in the early 17th century. They've survived the ravages of the 30 years war as well as pests like the grape phylloxera, probably thanks to their tough bark and roots. If you take a closer look, you can see that the stalk and bark have cracked open. It's amazing that it's still producing fruit. Uh, it's had moss for years and it's pretty gnarled and twisted. This picture shows how the vineyard might have looked in the early 19th century. The oldest vines were owned by the Serra family of vintners before they changed hands at the start of the 1970s and became the property of the current vintner's father, Arthur Oberhofer. In the early days, we used a horse for plowing and did the rest by hand. All the manual work means things are very labor-intensive. But this venerable old fellow deserves it. The harvest this year is disappointing. It seems the cold spring wasn't good for the old vines. But it's not the first time the vineyard has suffered a poor yield. The 2006 harvest produced just three buckets worth. The results for 2009 were reassuring, 400 liters. So. That's the harvest for 2010, and I reckon something will come out of it. But whether it's a bumper crop or a bust, every year Heidi Oberhofer hosts a kind of Thanksgiving event. It's a tradition. The meal provides some extra fortification for the team before they get to work. The wine from the old aromatic Gewürztraminer vines comprises less than 1% of total production. It's a labor of love for Stefan Oberhofer. He's delighted with the 109 degree reading on the Uxle scale. That gives it Auslese status, meaning excellent quality. Good. All the promise of a classic vintage delivered in half-liter bottles. They'll each sell for 41 euros apiece. Experts say this Gewürztraminer has a more mature taste than others of its kind. The Oberhofer family raises a toast to the 2010 vintage, comprising about 80 bottles. All there is to do now is wait and see what the 400-year-old grapevines turn up next year. <laughs>